Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my final prediction for Mr. International 2023. Welcome. So this is it. My final prediction for Mr. International 2023. And wow, I felt like Mr. International's batch this year is incredible. There's so many amazing men competing this year that it's so difficult to pick a winner. And I'm just so excited to talk to you and share to you about my favorites and see whether you agree with my list or not. But let's see. But one thing that I love about male pageants is that Male pageants unite everyone. And anyway, I will be sharing to you my top 16. The format is supposed to be top 20, top 10, top 5, and top 3. That's the format for the finals. But for my final prediction, I decided to do it top 16, then top 10, and then my top 5, and then top 3. For my number 11 to 16, I will not be giving any commentaries, but I will just name them all. So here are my top 11 to 16 in alphabetical order. And they are... Colombia, Daniel Alejandro Garcia, the Czech Republic, Alexandro Spanagi, Dominican Republic of Arlene Torres, Mexico, Brian Ceballos, the Philippines, Jefferson Bunny, and Vietnam, Pham Minh Duyen. Now, here are my top 10 favorites in order of my preference. So let's see if we share the same list. Starting with my number 10, France. Lucas Schlachter, one of the best faces of the competition. I really, really love his build, his physique, and I do think that he's got the chance of going very far, even as far as top 5. However, there were moments during the preliminaries where he seems to be holding back his moves and smiles, so I am hoping that he will go all out in the finals because he could really do so much better and could place very, very high. Number nine goes to Guinea Bissau. Gabriel Montero, I love him very much and I was even surprised at how amazing he looked and how satisfying his performance was at the prelims. He's got one of the best bodies and even in different events of the competition, he already managed to catch my attention, so I would say a solid top 10 for him. He deserves to be in the top 10. If he goes to the top 5, bravo. Number 8, Korea. Ho Soon Kang. Personally, I would prefer other candidates over him, but I cannot deny the fact that he knows what to do and he was perfectly trained to be charming, and catch the attention of, of the audience as he performs during the prelims. That performance was so good. One of the best bodies as well, and he's extremely charismatic. So I have to give him a plus for that. Number seven, Brazil. Edward Taye, one of the complete package of this group. I just love the way he presented and performed during the preliminaries. He was effortlessly stunning, his body is amazing, and he's got one of the best smiles in the group. I think 7 is a little bit low for him because, I mean, look at him. He's so, so good. But I would not be surprised if he makes the top 5. And if he does, I know he's going to finish very high because he speaks so damn well too. So, if Brazil makes the top 5, good luck. He's going to do very well. Now let's go to my number 6, India. Shashwat Dwivedi. It was so difficult for me to decide whether to put India in the top 5 or not because he is a grower for me. He proved himself so much during the entire duration of the competition. He has maintained that freshness in his looks and his performance in the preliminaries wowed me. Honestly, in terms of stance, walk, and performance, he is deserving of a top 5 spot and it breaks my heart not to put him in the top 5 but I would be very very proud 
if he makes it. His preliminary performance wowed me. One of my favorites. I really, really love him. And I just wish him luck. If he goes to the top five, it would be a well-deserved placement. Now let's go to my final top five for my final prediction. Number five, Peru. Joel Farak, one of the best surprises in the preliminaries as well. Honestly, I was even considering him earlier to put him as a winner. And I still think he is a potential winner. I love how he presented himself in the preliminaries. And after watching that performance, after watching how he came out with so much confidence, how he commanded total attention, I felt like Peru just perfectly cemented himself as one of the men to beat tomorrow in the finals. So, well done as well. Number four goes to Spain. Borja Ramo. If you have been following me on my Instagram, you know how much I have loved Spain and recently I am glad that he has spoken about male masculinity and how men should not be judged on what they wear because if we push the same advocacy for women, same thing should be pushed and be done for men. And I am so proud of him for standing up and speaking out. So well done. That's a plus points for me. And I'm not biased because that's really good. Performance wise, I also think he did incredibly well in all aspects. I love his classic and vintage look. I love the hair. I also think that his wardrobes were amazing. So I don't actually get the issue. The wardrobe looked amazing. He is nailing it. It's just amazing. And I wanted him to be in the top five. I personally sealing him in the top five. And I would be the happiest in the world if he would go all the way for the win. Number three. Here's now my final top three. So this is my second runner up. My second runner up is Thailand. Kim Titisan Goodburn. Definitely my winner in the preliminaries. I wasn't a huge fan before, but as the competition progressed, he definitely won me over. He is extremely charismatic during the preliminaries. He knows his moves from the slow motion to the turns, even the head movements and facial expressions. I felt like he perfected it and prepared for it very, very well. He just mastered it perfectly, period. So Thailand was incredible and he could also be a potential winner. I love him. Really, really good. My first runner-up goes to Lebanon. Sif Al-Walid Harb. When it comes to visuals, there's no denying that Lebanon has gained the hearts of many pageant fans when it comes to his incredibly handsome facial features. He is indeed a beautiful man and his looks is going to go down as one of the most handsome face in male pageantry. Top 5 and top 3 I believe is a battle of interviews and although I felt like he is sealed, locked, nailed in the final 5, I am still opening the possibilities that Q&A may also affect his chances of winning but if he could nail the interview, he is definitely a winner, hands down, no doubt. I'm just considering that someone could emerge from the top five interviews. And that someone is my winner. Because my predicted winner for Mr. International 2023 is... Predictable, Venezuela. William Badel, as a huge fan of Venezuela and William, and as someone like me who have witnessed his, his journey from Mr. Supernational Venezuela to Mr. Supernational and now his comeback in pageantry in Mr. International, I believe that he is a very, very strong contender for the win. He looked extremely and strikingly handsome. His body looked amazing, one of the most perfect figures in the competition and entering the top five, I... I don't want to be overconfident, but I'm actually very, very confident. I just cannot imagine Venezuela not making the top five. I mean, of course, anything could happen, but I felt like Venezuela is a top five contender for sure. And let me just say that if 
Oh, well, yeah. If Venezuela makes the top five, everyone should prepare because he is an incredible speaker. And there's no doubt in my mind that as long as the judgment will be fair, as long as he makes the top five, there is no stopping Venezuela from getting that title and crown. I have talked to him prior to uh, a day after he announced that he's competing and I can really feel his determination to do well and to win the title and I can see that I can see that on his performances and right now I can feel a William Badell that really wanted to take home the title so he is my predicted winner so that's it this is my final prediction for Mr. International 2023 and I would love to know your thoughts about my ranking, about the men that I have in my list. I know this is going to be a so different list because it's only, it's based on the performance and of course my personal preference too. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.